I was like, I'm just going to report to the whole admin. I was scared because I'm taking this thing to authority. I was genuinely like pained, but like that pain was covered up by my anger. <laughs> So my roommate left the room because of me. I'm sure you're wondering how. So time for a story time. So let's give this roommate a name. Hmm. Let's use Eli. Eli. Or Ali. No. That's the rules. So let's use Layla. Layla. So basically, it was the beginning of second semester. We had just resumed for second semester. And the resumption date for us was to come on Monday. But that was just after the period of the elections, the 2023 elections. I have a vlog up about like the 23 election, I mean the 2023 elections and like the come back to school vlog with me. So I was supposed to resume on Monday and the elections were on Saturday. So my dad was like, let's not go to school too close after the elections, like, let's wait a bit. And I was supposed to take a driver, but the driver was not available on Monday anyways. So it's like, I should just go on Friday. And in my gut, I was like, hmm, I don't want to go on Friday because I don't want to go to school and find out that my best friend has been taken. But like, at the same time, I didn't know for a fact that I was going to be taken because before we left home she was always like she's the type of person that she's not necessarily like very contented like she always you know didn't like her bed space or something like that so i she always had a problem she was always complaining about her stuff so i honestly suspected that she was going to do that kind of thing but you know benefit of the doubt so um i didn't resume until friday I have five room. I mean, four other roommates. One resumed on Monday, another one Tuesday, Wednesday. She resumed on Wednesday. Now, apparently, so let's call this other roommate, roommate two, Penelope. Penelope. Oh no, let me not use like two English names. Let me use Patricia. It's still English, but so Patricia resumed on Thursday. And Patricia was the one that told me of how she changed her bed space to my bed space. So, um, so she chatted me up and she was like, Oh my god, this baby has taken your bed space and everything. And like, they've, they've switched things up in the room, that like people have taken different desk spaces, um, wardrobes, etc. etc. And I was like, Hmm okay i was already getting like really anxious and everything i told my parents prior that i didn't want to go to school late because i don't trust them but my dad brought, like told me like if they do that that they are wrong and everything that like he went to a federal university like unilag and you know that kind of thing cannot happen in the middle of a session if it's a new semester i mean if it's a new session fine change your bed to this but like not in the middle of the semester so um we basically i um he basically told me not to worry and everything that if that even happens that i should like try to call you know any authority around and explain to them what happened and everything that it should not happen so finding out from patricia that this thing happened and it's not even as if we're not like we are on good terms we're not like best friends but i would say that like we reach each other outside you know we can form a whole ass conversation like wow roommates you know you wouldn't want that kind of person to do that kind of thing to you and then she does this so I went to school on Friday. I was really, really anxious about the whole thing, like going to bed because I hate confrontation. But like, if he absolutely needs to be done, like I will do it. Like if there's like, if it's directly inconveniencing me, especially when like bed space, I'm going to be staying on that bed for four months. So you know that kind of thing. I was like, let me know. You know, I was very, very anxious going to school. I was anxious. Um, I, I didn't show it a lot just because I was really really anxious I was shaky and everything so I walked into school I did my signing in I got to school by 8 I didn't enter the hall till 9 because Babcock University is something else there yes, Babcock University and the name of my hall was Queen Esther um, I was in room 219 just in case I'm in Babcock University um, and I'm never going to be in room 219 in Queen Esther again so I'm safe Anyway, 
so basically I walk to my room I open the door my three of my room is are coming outside to fetch water because back up in not give us water so my primary university did not give us water so as I they, she, they, they left the room and I entered the room and she was lying down on the bed I remember just thinking here we go but I, I was I was my brave face and my brave face is like it's like a straight face so I see her and she's sleeping she's like all weak she's like she didn't even greet me actually I greeted her and then she was like so basically I was like hmm. um, hi what are you doing on this bed that was the first thing I said I was like what are you doing on this bed because you know I said it in a more friendly way not particularly friendly but not necessarily like what are you doing on this bed like that you do know this but that kind of thing now you know like you and your friend and stuff like that so she was like mm, i'm sleeping on it too and one of our friends was in our room and she and her friend was sitting down on our original bed space so she was sleeping her friend was sleeping there and she was like let's, let's call this girl um okiki she was like okiki come to come and sleep on the bed with her i feel like you know you are sleeping on somebody's bed i just arrived to school like you just expect me to be like oh okay fine mm, let's like have the bed and like she wasn't willing to even discuss the matter at all she was just like oh yeah and she called her friend to come and join on the bed and sleep both of them her friend walks up okiki goes and sleeps with um what, what my name uh, Layla. okiki goes to sleep with Layla. and basically before i approach the argument i try to you know be friendly to her so that I can ease in the conversation about how I was going to get my bed back so I proceeded with casual conversation I told her that we should make tiktoks you know there was one sound going around and I was like I wanted us to make tiktoks together with that sound and stuff like that and she was like oh, okay yeah sure and everything she was still giving like like I'm tired I'm sick vibes I don't know if that was like a cover up for you know what she was doing because I don't know but it was just giving like she does not have the energy to like argue with me like she's not going to talk about it and I'm like sis I don't want to argue with you either I mean you're the one on my bed space so like if I don't have to do this I won't so basically um I spoke to her and everything and she was like yeah we can do it and everything so I was like after that conversation I went ahead to take some pictures you will see this in my vlog honestly so go and check it out I'm um, coming back to school after elections so I went to take some pictures and then I came back after taking the pictures and I was like okay let's talk about this best place thing and she told me that I should ask the um, my other roommates what happened that it's not me, it's not her that I will ask I was not like what do you mean by that you are on my bed so it's you that will ask she was like that and one of them said that she should go on my bed and that's the reason why she's there so I was like so they can control you that they they post you on that bed they have used cough to cough your hand there but you cannot stand up she ignored me and she proceeded to sleep again so i was like okay i'll wait i'll wait for them to come so the rest of them came back they had struggled to fetch water they were not dead through house they were looking for what up and down because back up university something else um they came back and then i was like okay this girl told me that you people Leila told me that you people told her to stay on my bed and then you know one of my really really good friends i would not expect this from let's just say like people can't be so they can they can surprise you she was like that uh Layla was talking about changing beds and she was like go and sleep on your best bed let's fight happen that she said it jokingly that and that's how alia landed on my bed and i was like okay jokes aside now the fight that happened, please stand up. She said, No, you're not getting this bed space again. No, you're not getting this bed space again. No, and then I was like, Get up, what are you doing on this bed? If it's not, um, that like, are you taking this bed and everything? And she was like, Eh, that she's not feeling fun, that she has, that she cannot stay under the fan. And this, her friend was like, Behind her, I was like, Yes, she cannot stay under the fan. No, she cannot stay under the fan. See me with my full chest, I carry. Two people bed in my room. Yes, so this semester I've changed my bed. Yes, I and she was supporting um Layla. 
um, okay, cool, I was supporting Lila. I was like, yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And me, I'm like, well, me, I owe this one. I'm not feeling it. Okay, key. Okay, key on the other hand, then, does not have a good relationship with that roommate. So, Lila, you are in your own room. You have a good relationship with your roommate. You are good, like, she's willing to let that go for, I don't know, whatever she was trying to play as by taking that bed space. But, you know, the girl backing you up. She doesn't stay in our room. She stays in our room half of the time, if not full time. If she's not in our room, she's in somebody else's room. Then another person's room. Then maybe then you'll find her in our room. So half the time she's not even in our own room because she always complains that she does not have a good relationship with our roommates. This is the person that's taking our roommate's bed. You that things are going well in your room. All of us are getting along, even if we're not together, even if we're not best friends. You are cousin you know drama and everything where there's no need so uh, i expect her that like i wouldn't do that i would to her and that like i would be very very pain if she was not leave the bed and she was like that i'm not getting the bed space like i'm not getting the bed space that she was so scared taking the bed space at this point we were actually like full on arguing shouting and everything that she was so scared taking the bed space i'm like why won't you be scared i mean like if you were your property if you had the bed from first semester you wouldn't be worried not to sleep on it i mean i wouldn't see you sleeping on your bed and tell you stand up that kind of thing no so i was like why would you be scared and everything at this point we're like full on arguing shouting and then next thing she says is that see i don't have to argue because i'm busted i'm busted i'm like did you put that first into con consideration when you took something the bed i sleep on did you did you take that into consideration or that into consideration when i expressed my i was genuinely like pained but like that pain was covered up by my anger because in my mind i was like no i'm not going to do this better and everything so we argued and she was like that she's not giving me the better and everything so i was like okay that i cannot do this kind of thing to her and i'm going to report to the whole admin i was scared because I'm taking this thing to authorities, I'm taking this to the whole I mean like this is getting hmm. so I go downstairs, I meet the whole admin, I tell her that okay my roommate took my bed from last semester and she doesn't want to my bed space and she doesn't want to give me and everything and she said that she came first, she came before me actually. I didn't add that at the beginning, she had come before me, yeah, obviously. And that uh, she doesn't want to, I mean she has taken the bed and she has taken it. You know, she said it really she was like Take what you meet. You cannot get this bed space again. And I was like, mm -mm, not with that attitude. Anyway, so um, I go and report Layla downstairs. I explain to her admin. The whole admin tells me to call Layla downstairs. So I go and meet Layla, and I'm like, Layla, let's go. She's just from where she's sleeping. Her and her, her friend Okiki. So she's like, Okiki, follow me. Okiki looks at her like Okiki full on gives her that look like, am I not in Wala? Bye. Like, why do I have to follow you? Okiki is like. She's like, come now, come now, follow me, please. Okay, he's not like, okay, give me your boo boo, let me go, let's go and meet this whole admin. So, okay, he wears the boo boo, we go downstairs together to meet this whole admin. I was honestly against her going with okay because I was like, I'm alone in this, you're not carrying your friend. As in, it, it, there, there was this way it felt like it was two against one now, like, no matter what happens, that she's going to be in the right. And I did not feel comfortable, there was tension, I, I just. I was angry, I was pained because like this is somebody that you know prior to this we lived to each, with each other for four months. I felt like we knew each other better than this and everything. So we go downstairs, I go downstairs with Lila and Okiki and then the woman again, tells the girl to leave my bed space. I had like relief spread in my chest. I was so happy. So Lila is like, but my came before her. Okiki okay, does not say anything. Okiki okay, did not even enter the lobby. Okiki okay, is standing at the door to the lobby. She does not enter. Okiki okay, that was arguing with me and everything. So she asked me to take my bed space back. I was excited. I went back upstairs and then I told her to remove her stuff so I can leave my bed. She was like that she's coming. So I waited for her. I was like, mm, I've gotten my bed space back. Let me just wait for her. With time, I noticed that she leaves the room. She She's the room for a while. I wasn't bothered. My own other staff, whenever you come back, remove the bed. I mean, remove your stuff and let me be in my own bed. So she comes back later and she says, I met the, she met a higher officer 
I don't know. The, I think she said chief all admin, something like that. Chief all admin, and she was like, the chief all admin said, you cannot take the bed space again. She said it with such, like, I don't know the facial expression. It's such a, like, what are you going to do now? Like, you have to take it now. And I was like, I felt so much pain, like I had lost. And the thing about it was that the whole admin asked, the whole admin said that if she was not comfortable with the bed space, with the original bed space, that she can leave the room. And so she went to get another room for herself. Okay, when she said she can leave the room, she was like taking her back, like what, like. Ma, are you sure that there's nothing else I can do and everything? The woman was like, no, if you're not so comfortable with this, you can change rooms. And she was like, okay, thank you, ma. And she went. She showed that hesitance, like, well, like, I'm not going to leave my room for it. I guess but she, when she had left later, she went to look into getting another room. So at this point, she's not in the room. Me, I'm happy. I'm feeling like, oh, okay, let her come back. Whenever she comes back, I remove the bed sheet. So she comes back and tells me, well, I met the higher authority, like the top top, and she said that you, I, I'm that I can keep the space. Now, why did this woman say that she can keep the space? Because she doesn't want to go to the shelter of changing rooms. Because changing rooms is not actually that easy, and it's for a rather minute thing too. Because there are other people that are actually struggling with health conditions, or their roommates are they don't get along, like there's bad blood, and they change their rooms. But like this is like about taking somebody's bed space. So the one like all together decided there and then that like I should suck it up and take the best place that she left for me me on the other hand I was not willing to stay there um so we rearranged the room I put the bed somewhere else where I was a bit more comfortable I was beside the toilet so the full screens of people walking out would always irritate me they did the bare minimum in actually cleaning the footprints up I would always have to you know go and clean it up the best place hurt me but the foam i got a new foam when i came to school like i got the new bed the mattress the mattress thing so i was really pissed about that too so i told her like okay if you want to take the best place have it at this point like but can i have the mattress and she was like okay luckily for me i feel like god just is that to like make me feel better about the whole situation so honestly there was a lot of bad blood like i felt like there was a feeling of just negative emotions that, and it was suffocating me because her and her other friend Okiki, Leila and Okiki, they would always be in the room shouting, laughing, smiling and honestly there are some things, like things can never go back to the way they were even though my other roommates, so I also felt like they didn't do me good because they encouraged her to see flight as a joke you know and I even like approached the, and the others and I was like why would you even do that, why would you like, you, like you like this is painful for me and you and she was like that well she has kata she cannot stand at the fan what's really funny is she changed her bed space to under the fan and in the process she lost her original bed space to the person um what's her name um what name did i give her i can't remember to the person who encouraged her to take my own space as fight i mean let's be real here if so they said that she has kata so she can take she can she, she can um, she does not understand that different because she has kata okay let's be real you that you that you said she should take my bed space for fights leave your own bed that was our original like our original bed space before she shifted her bed herself under the fan why didn't you say oh sorry you have kata take my own bed happy now since you really care about akata you know um over the period of the semester i did she did have like um she she was breathing not like suffocating but like you can tell like this kata and stuff like that um i think that if it was a really genuine situation with her you know there was other things that she could have done she could have asked me honestly i might have told her no but I mean, you never know if you approach a situation properly. Like I could, I would consider you like seriously and see that you know you can. And I am one thing about me is on top of her caring, caring. Like if you consider that, I'm not like I sneeze a lot. I I drink warm water ninety percent of the time. The one thing I want I take good water. I will sneeze. 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 And when I have cataracts, it's always really bad. Like. 
during COVID, I had Qatar for like the whole of COVID. It would go for like a couple of days, come back, those kind of things. So I'm not necessarily the type of person that you that can tolerate that cold too. So I was just like, and it was a bunk bed, honestly. So the, the space wasn't all that, but you know, I had adjusted to it, I accepted it. It was my space, but she took it, and in the end, she didn't have to leave the room. Um, but like, if you made it this far, what does she have leave the room? I'm sorry, she didn't leave the room. She didn't leave the room, but she did go and try to leave the room, but they they didn't need dirty. Throughout this process of updating my parents and everything, you know, and it wasn't just like painful for me. It was painful for my mom, cause you know, my mom wanted me to be comfortable in school, hearing that like. My best friend had been taken, will not be, you know, even my dad, it was just something for all of us to just be like, like they were genuinely not happy about it. So I was also very irritated by that because it's not just personally me, but also my mom's emotions because she was very unhappy about the whole situation. But like, there was nothing she could do about it exactly. So that is the end of this video. Um, if you want another, if you want another story time, let me know and I'll see you guys whenever I see you guys. Probably next week or something. Bye. God bless you. My name is Jesus.